so good to see your guys' faces again. I feel like it has been so long since I actually had a chit chatty like talk to the camera video. Um, today's video is going to be more of like a vlog. I have a lot of fun things planned in this one so stick around and at the end I will um, do a little sit down chit chat about Christmas time. I know there's a lot of different varying opinions out there and yeah I just felt like talking with you guys. It's been a while. My last couple videos while they were really fun to film they were a ton of work because they were more like voiceover videos. And I just didn't get to chat with you guys that much. So this video is going to be a super chatty vlog here with Megan. And right now I'm actually just, yeah, there's all this mess behind me. I am packing up my bag here. I'm taking the kids down to my mom-in-law for the morning. Um, we're going to just hang out, go to a thrift store, and I'm not sure what all. I'm planning to treat myself and stop at Starbucks on the way down. If you are not new to my channel, you will know that. I rarely ever get Starbucks, um, and when I do, I like to research my drink order ahead of time and make sure that I'm going to like it, so I have a new order today that I want to try that feels a little bit more festive. Um, but yeah, right now I am going to pack up my diaper bag. It is such a mess. My friend just got me a new shipment of the pouches that I sell on Fox Bear. She's so good. Look at these guys. They're so pretty. Anyway, so I finally can read this game. They sold out so quickly. Everybody loved them. And I didn't even get any for myself. <laughs> I have a bro bunch of like old prototype bags that we were playing around with like the different um, fabrications and different stuff like that. Um, and they ended up never going to market. But I do have one of the actual bags. This was my favorite one, like the gold. Um, but I need a couple more because my diaper bag, yeah, I like using pouches. And it's a hot mess. So I'm gonna get this dipper bag packed. We're gonna actually have the kids eat their breakfast in the car. They're not big breakfast eaters right now. Um, but yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I have my planner in there, and then this is all the stuff I need to put in yet. They have their cup, a diaper and wipes pack. This is their breakfast stuff. <laughs> and then here I have my three little bags. This one here has just like little toys and stuff for church, a little drawing pad for Ivani. And then this next one here is like a first aid kit. I have like some kids Tylenol in here, so nail clippers, some chapstick, hand sanitizer, things like that. And then this one is my makeup bag. Um, I have just like a small little perfume in there, some more hand sanitizer, um, deodorant, mascara. I'm really into this stuff right now. It's like Listerine breath spray, so you don't have to like chew gum or anything. I feel like it's rude to chew gum in church. My husband disagrees, so no offense no matter what side you're on. And then I always keep deodorant in here. This stuff is from Native. It is like a natural deodorant. You can get it at Target. And this stuff is their plastic free packaging. Um, it's the charcoal scent, which is my favorite one, but they do have others. You guys always love when I work with Native because they give like really, really good discount codes. And this month it's actually 25% off. And I just wanted to show you their plastic free packaging if you missed my last video. Like I said, this charcoal scent is my favorite. You could buy this stuff up in bulk and you know, you could use it. Your husband can use it. It's like kind of a unisex scent. But they do have a lot of other scents too. Um, this is the coconut and vanilla one. And I also love the citrus and herbal musk. Those are my three favorites at the moment. Um, but right now they also have like a candy cane scent, I think, for uh, exclusively for this time of year. So definitely check them out. They are available to almost all of my viewers, so many different countries that they ship to. Right now they have a really good discount if you guys want to try their plastic free packaging. It is like the same formula and side, like the same stuff you're used to. It's not sticky, um, it doesn't come on really hard. There you can kind of see how it looks. I just really like the company and I really like the natural deodorant. Sometimes deodorant that's like natural is not, it just doesn't cut it. So anyway, 
they're giving you guys 25% off of their deodorant when you try their plastic free packaging um, bundle, I think it's called. And yeah, you can mix and match your different scents, order there online, and then just make sure you use the link down below to do that. That way you get the 25% off. And this code is only good if you are trying um, their plastic free packaging for the first time. Their plastic free packaging is made with 100% paperboard. And then the actual deodorant itself is vegan and cruelty free. I think personally they're kind of cute. Can you throw these in like stocking stuffer type of things? Thank you so much Native for sponsoring this video and you guys go ahead and jump on that offer. Okay, so I'm gonna get all this stuff in my diaper bag and head out the door and I'll meet you guys over at Starbucks. Okay, this is a grande iced white mocha with sweet cream cold foam on top. I don't know if you can see that there. I did not do this, but sometimes I like to order the grande in a venti cup so that there's like more room for the foam and stuff, but I just figured I'd end up spilling it. I've had a big cup today when I'm traveling. But yeah, let's taste this. Wow, that is really good. It's more normal tasting than like a dirty iced chai. I don't know. I give it like an A. Not an A plus because I feel like I've had something even more like dramatic before. But I think if I would order it again, since there's a sweet cream cold foam on top, I think I would order it again with one less pump. Um, it's pretty sweet. I like when it's almost too bitter and then you like as you drink it, you get more used to it. Rather than when it's so sweet right off the bat, um, you don't always want to finish your drink. So I often will say one less pump. And then I also got their um, red pepper egg bites. They do not look that great. Um, I've had these before though. These are so good. I saw they said they're only 170 calories. They taste divine, so I don't know. I don't care how many calories it is, I guess, but mmm. Anyway, it's about a 40 minute drive down to my mom-in-law, so we better get rolling. Definitely try an iced white mocha with sweet cream cold foam minus a pump, is what I say. from Grandma Jane and they are playing with magnets and eating cinnamon toast crunch. <laughs> I don't know, they said they were hungry so I was like fine, but it's almost nap time. So why don't you guys clean up your magnets, put them back in the dish. I wanted to show you these cookies. Has anybody ever heard of the likes? This is what uh, my mom-in-law was making when I went down there. They're raisin cookies. They have like a sugar cookie part and then you stick raisin filling in the middle and then sugar cookie again. And then the top has like an icing glaze on the top. I get like this weird like satisfaction out of making things that Josh requests because he rarely ever requests anything. So one time he like requested raisin cookies and I'm like, that sounds disgusting. But I looked up an oatmeal raisin cookie recipe and I made it for him and he came home and they were like chewy and perfect, as perfect as raisin cookies can be. And he's like, this is not what he meant, but whatever, he'll eat them. But this is what he meant and this recipe is, I'll see if I can actually get it from my um, mom-in-law. It is like ancient. It is from Ivani's great, great grandma. So very um, far back, so I don't know, I'm guessing it'd be fine for me to use it, but I think it actually calls for lard. It's like that old of a recipe. <laughs> if you know, you know, like Mennonites and Amish, they used to really cook with lard, some still do. But anyway, I don't know, we'll see if they're any good. I'm not really in the mood at the moment, 
but yeah, they're kind of for Josh anyway. So yeah, let me know down below if you've ever seen anything like this style of raisin cookie before. Okay, I have this big box of Amazon returns that I need, well, it's not all returns, some of it I am keeping, but I need to go through it and get things sent out. Um, yeah, I've been ordering a bunch of different things through Amazon lately, just try on stuff. Okay, so I decided that for this winter, my mom uniform is going to be knee length dresses with long sleeves and leggings. I don't know, there's, it's just so comfortable, it's effortless, you don't really have to think about it. Um, and so I am planning on doing some sewing, but I also decided to do a little bit of experimenting on Amazon. And I ordered this dress here. I'll try to put a try on clip there for you. It's such a pretty print. I decided I'm going to return it, but it has long sleeves, it has pockets, it has like pleats at the waist. It's so, so cute. Um, and so I thought maybe some of you guys would like it. I definitely can vouch for the quality. It feels really good. Um, it's just a little short for me. And then I did get this dress as well. This one I actually might be keeping. I'm not a huge purple girl or polka dot person, but it's almost like a dirty purple, if you know what I mean. Um, I haven't decided yet for sure. I put it on and I felt like I was a 10 year old, so I'm gonna put it back on one more time and then decide if I'm gonna keep it or not. I think it's just the polka dots that are throwing me off, but it again is um, a knee length dress. I think it's long enough. I like how the edges go up on the side for like that shirt tail hem. It has pockets, it's good quality. Um, I think you guys would like it if this is your style and taste. They have a lot of different colors in both of these. Um, and then I have one more dress as well. I'll put here on the screen. I love this one. Um, I've been wearing it a bunch. I think you guys probably saw this in videos before. I have it in a red color and now I got the gray. I really love this dress. It has pockets and it's super comfortable as well. So I will put that link down below. That one I am for sure keeping. I've already worn it a bunch. Um, and then I got this shirt. I've been looking for more just like statement tops because I have lots and lots of like straight skirts. But actually the skirt I'm wearing today, I didn't even talk about my outfit. It's this orange corduroy skirt from Inherit Clothing Company. I wear it a ton, especially in the fall. I love the color. And then this is actually from our latest launch on Fox Sparrow. Um, it says his joy, my strength on it. Um, I just feel like that quote is just you know some days you say it you know with confidence his joy is my strength you know i can get through today and then some days you're just like like basically like groaning it out like his joy it will be my strength i can do this i can do this you know that kind of i don't know this quote has meant a lot to me lately and so i knew i wanted it embroidered on the shirt it's a really pretty like um corally orange color it like pops off of this um crew neck and it is like a cloud crew neck it is so so soft um i like to actually wear it without any shirt underneath so i can like feel the fuzziness on me um but yeah it is available right now over on my website meganfoxunlock.com Anyway, so I've been also looking for like statement shirts to go with my um, skirts because I can't just wear dresses all the time. Um, and so I have a lot of like basic skirts like this one here from Inherit and then I think it's cute to pair it with either a cardigan and a t-shirt or um, like a statement uh, shirt. And I had this shirt before but I got it in too big of a size so I ended up selling it on Poshmark. Um, it has like a knot detail at the waist. And I just like this um, color for like Christmas, winter. It's like almost red, almost purple, I can't decide which. Um, and I think I will be keeping this one or else I might be returning it for a different color since I just designed a new t-shirt for my website that is kind of this color. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'll branch out a little bit and maybe get something different, but I don't know. I haven't decided for sure yet, but this shirt I've had before, I like it. I would recommend it. Um, this next item I am returning. I don't think I recommend these. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. Where is it? Right here, it's a sweater. I'm not even opening it. <laughs> um, I can link it down below. They have other colors. Maybe I should try a different color, but it is like this hideous orange color. Not at all what I was picturing. It looked more like a clay dirt color. So that will definitely not be flattering. <laughs> I also got this cute hat. I'm not gonna unpackage it for you guys. Um, it's just really cute. You could use it for actually wearing or as decor. I bought it for flat lay photography. Um, I was gonna put together some outfit flat lays for my website and it didn't come in in time, so I'm just gonna return it. And I've been looking for cognac colored boots and my cousin got these in pink and they were so cute, so I will link them down below. They were so cute, but I do not like these and I am returning them. Um, they just, the orange, I feel like if you're gonna have that orangey cognac color, um, it should be like a slick, smooth leather. I feel like this suede looking stuff just makes it look like a sofa or upholstery or something. <laughs> I don't know, um, but they're super cute. I like the um, length of the heel. It's kind of like dressy, whatever. Yeah, super cute, but not the right color. But the pink ones I've seen in real life from my cousin, <laughs> they are so cute, so I will link those. Okay, these just came yesterday and I have yet to fit them on yet. I've always wanted wedge sneakers because they're kind of like boots, but they're way like more casual. 
and these have like a perforated kind of wall on the side to them and I should not be wearing these shoes, these kind of sneakers too much with my foot issue. I have, if you're new to my channel, I have like a fused bone in my ankle that it um, doesn't glide like it should. It's like semi-fused. I have like shoe inserts I wear in my sneakers, but I still like cute shoes sometimes, you know, for an evening or something. So I'm going to fit those on and see if I want to keep them, but I think they would look really cute with um, like denim. I don't know. This is just like a fun, edgier street style. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I think I'm keeping these. They're a really, really cool color and they're actually super comfortable. So, yeah, awesome. One last thing I had to show you guys quickly. Um, if you have a toddler girl, run, do not walk to Walmart and pick up, oh my goodness, guys, they're so cute. I got this little jumper for Ivani, it's buttoned down. And I also bought this one. It's like denim, and they had this one in a light wash denim, and they had this one in like a purple plum color. I wish I would've just got all four of them. Um, I actually think I'm gonna go back and get some 4T ones for next winter. They are so cute, like so, so cute. I couldn't believe it. Walmart guys, since when is Walmart so fashionable? Anyway, just a tip there if you have a little girl like I do. Anyway, I just wanted to, here, let me clean up this trash quick. <laughs> I was looking for some baby items for a baby shower I have coming up and I found these adorable snack cups online. Yeah, they have a lid. I don't know how often I would use the lid, um, but yeah, there it is. And it is so cute. They have all kinds of colors. Um, just so precious. Anyway, they're kind of expensive. I think they were like $11 or something. And you can get like the ugly ones, like two for eight or something at Walmart. So anyway, oh, it also collapses. It's space saving here. So cool. Anyway, I just like to kind of splurge on my friends. It's kind of hard to do that for yourself sometimes, but um, yeah, for gifts, it's fun. Okay, anyway, I just feel like I have not been connecting with you guys a ton lately. Um, I've been trying to put out like more professional, helpful videos, and then I feel sometimes like my personality kind of gets lost in it when I'm trying to be like, I mean, hello, we all have like a professional side. And if you don't believe me, just travel and talk to the border patrol people when you're trying to get back into the country and you will right away realize <laughs> We all can have different personalities in different moments. We all have like a very professional like no-nonsense side of us too I'm sure anyway, so I don't know. I feel like I have not really chatted with you guys a ton and just like told you what's been going on lately But um, we are as of now planning to go to Cabela's on Thanksgiving so the kids can see the animals and um, I'm not gonna make a big turkey meal that day one because my turkey is still frozen and two because I would rather um, do that on like a weeknight when I actually have time. Josh is home, I don't wanna spend all day cooking. I'd rather hang out as a family. Um, but if you guys were wondering, um, I've recently been hearing different Christians talking about Christmas and whether you should or shouldn't celebrate it and I just wanted to, I guess I was feeling a little argumentative the other day. I was like, I wanna chat about this on my YouTube channel. Anyway, so I don't know if you guys celebrate Christmas or not and I don't really care. You do whatever you feel comfortable doing, but we do celebrate Christmas. Um, I realized that the way Mennonites celebrate Christmas is not necessarily mainstream. We don't do Santa Claus. Um, I don't think I know of any Mennonites who do like Elf on the Shelf or anything like that. Um, and I thought that we did pretty minimal Christmas gifts, but then I was watching other YouTubers who were showing their Christmas stuff and they were saying they're minimalists and their stuff looked like a ton to me. So I, mean, I guess we're like extreme Christmas minimalists. I don't know, but um, family is a big part for us. And so we like to get together with Josh's side of the family and my side of the family. And there's usually gifts involved there. And so, when we buy gifts for our kids, our kids are also really young yet, um, we don't spend a ton of money. Like they're probably gonna get one nice gift and then like some PJs and maybe a book or something, nothing too great, but you know, they're kids. I, I just don't, okay. I live in fear of like having to like always ramp it up and ramp it up and bigger and bigger Christmases. And right now my kids aren't in school, so there's no like competition, who got the coolest stuff, you know? And there's also another reason I don't love to make it a huge Christmas because when the kids are this age and if we would just be opening Christmas gifts for like half an hour, an hour, two hours, they're young, they would be overwhelmed, they wouldn't play with anything, they wouldn't know what to do. Um, I'd rather like space out gifts throughout the year. I have been known to just give my kids random gifts for no reason at all when I feel like it's been like a slow day or like they need something to do to occupy them or just I feel like they earned it. I like to go to thrift stores and stuff and like I have a closet shelf up in Ivani's room where I keep stuff that I can just pull out if I need, you know, maybe like a little baby gift or something or if I decide the kids need it, like puzzles or like 
different little games like that. Right now I have Lincoln Logs setting back. I haven't given to them yet. Um, I did buy them, but then never gave them to them. You know, we'll wait and see when I want to do that. But yeah, Christmas presents are not a huge thing. My birthday is December 15th, and we always do an experience for my birthday. But then for Christmas, me and Josh tried the whole not exchanging gifts, and it was just really sad. It's fun to give each other gifts. Funny story, one year, we both, we wanted a speaker for our house, like a portable speaker, you know, big and loud. Josh likes, he's really into his music. Anyway, and so I bought him a speaker. It was a Brookstone speaker. It was like $200, really expensive. And he bought me the exact same thing, just like a really cheap version, like $50 or something. The sound was really bad. It did not sound good at all. It was so funny. So I, I gave him this expensive luxury, like speaker and he gave me this like not you know, very cheapy one from like, I don't know, Walmart or something. Yeah, it was cr it cracked us each other up. We exchanged the exact same gift. But the joke was on me because the one that I gave him, like the really expensive one, <laughs> got recalled because it was known to spontaneously combust. <sighs> yeah, I can't believe it. Anyway, so the joke was on me. I bought him an exploding speaker. It never did explode, but it eventually we couldn't charge it anymore because we, um, the charger broke and they don't make the charger anymore because they don't make the speaker anymore because it explodes, like I said. <laughs> Anyway, but we do like to exchange like small gifts. I'm not sure what I want to do for Josh. He has been saying he wants um, like a sports coat or like a suit. Um, when we got married, we went to a church that required a plain suit, which I don't know if you're familiar with that. Um, it's like they cut off the lapels and stuff. It's like supposed to be less fancy. Um, anyway, so he will not wear that one, but he wants like an actual suit. So I'm like, Hmm, how can I get him a suit without him actually trying one on? So we might just have to go up together and, you know, then I'll get him some cologne and some other shirts and stuff for Christmas. Um, and I always like to give him something that only I would know that he likes, you know, favorite like candy, music, something like that. I don't know. I haven't really been, I really need to get on that. I really do. Um, but all the expensive stuff he wants, I just don't feel confident enough buying it for him. And I told him I don't want him buying me anything expensive without me helping to pick it out. Like I would love a new kitchen table. Um, but it's a want, not a need. So if he would buy that for me, I'd be like, I want to help pick it out. So Christmas for us is usually pretty low key, except for that one year where I bought him a $200 speaker, which did not work out. So yeah, I don't know. That's kind of how we do for gifts. Um, and we always do Christmas caroling with our church, um, like some kind of community outreach like that. Uh, the reason I think it's completely fine to celebrate Christmas is I know some people say that it has like pagan origins or whatever. And Honestly, I could care less what people did back on December 25th, 2000 years ago, 3000 years ago, whatever this was, um, because that's not what I'm doing now. Um, we celebrate the story of Jesus. We celebrate that he came to earth um, as a human. I mean, who would wanna come to this earth? You know what I'm saying? And the earth is just not an appealing place to be, especially if you lived in heaven. And so, yeah, we try to make it be centered around that and family and giving. And um, I just love participating in the whole spirit of the holiday. I feel like even non-Christians somehow get this joyful attitude over Christmas time. And I just, I don't know. I feel like people are a lot more open to hearing about the real meaning of Christmas over that time. Or maybe I'm just a little more willing to share. I don't know. But yeah, my point is just because maybe there were some pagan things way back in the day, that's not at all why I'm celebrating now. It's called Christmas. We celebrate Christmas. The word Christ is in there. I'm pretty sure that's not what they called it way back on December 25th, thousands of years ago. Um, and that brings up the whole point of Halloween. We do not choose to celebrate Halloween, and let me tell you why. I know this might be controversial. Why are you celebrating Christmas but not Halloween? But the way I look at it is, and by the way, if you come out in a different place, we can still give each other a hug. <laughs> um, that's totally fine. But for me, Halloween still to this day feels very um, dark and not at all like with the light of Jesus in us at all. I feel like it's celebrating like death and just glorifying that. And I feel like there is dark spiritual forces at work, especially over that time. Um, now, I would celebrate Halloween if let me hear me out now. If like, let's say a thousand years from now, people were celebrating on October 31st, 30th, what is it? Whatever. I don't even know what day Halloween is, but if on October 31st or whatever, people were celebrating a holiday holiday that was called something completely different. And it was where a family got together and talked about like loved ones that had died and their legacy and what we remember about them. And we cook their favorite meals, play their favorite songs, you know, something like that celebrating um, just remembering the dead that have gone on before us or something like that. And it was based in, it started out as Halloween as we know it today and transitioned into something like that. Well, I would celebrate that holiday. The holiday has nothing to do with glorifying darkness and sin and tricks and 
oh my, there's so much that goes on behind the scenes in Halloween that I don't even think, yeah, I don't want my kids to know about some of that stuff. So that's kind of my opinion, and I know some people celebrate Halloween as just, you know, candy, dressing up, whatever. Um, to me, it feels like too close of an association with the whole, like, Hallow's Eve, Devil's, um, Skeletons, Death, Graves, all that Grim Reaper stuff. Um, and so that's how I feel comfortable. Um, if you come out of a different place, I just hope that you feel comfortable with it and you feel like you're doing the right thing for your family. So um, I just thought I would let you guys know where we're coming from. And can I just say, we are 20, I'm 27, um, 28 very soon. I reserve the right to change my mind over the years. It's just how I feel right now and what I know of the Bible and what I'm reading about and just the research that I've done. Very minimal research. Um, but yeah, that's why I celebrate Christmas, but not Halloween. Um, I believe in what things stand for in the moment. If I'm putting up a Christmas tree, it's not something that I'm going to be dancing around and praying to pagan gods or anything. It's going to be to bring some nature into our home, smell delicious, um, just be pretty decor and feel like the Christmas spirit. Um, if that's what they did with them 3,000 years ago or whatever, well, so be it. That's not at all the heart of it. And thank the Lord. It's both scary and amazing that he looks at the heart. Yeah, that's a very convicting, convicting thought. We can't hide what is in our heart. So my prayer for you guys would be that you don't want to get too caught up in like the whole consumerism. You know, you hear about that all the time. Um, it's just not... <sighs> you're never on top when you're in that mindset. You know what I mean? There's always somebody else who gets something bigger and better. And um, also like the whole Instagram mom thing, oh, we gotta get the picture with the gingerbread. We gotta get the picture at the uh, Christmas tree farm. We gotta do this, we gotta do that. I'm trying not to let myself fall into that mentality either because I can see myself like, I just love the pretty things, the fun things. But anyway, some traditions we do as a family would be of course like family meals and stuff like that. Um, I always like to send out Christmas cards every year. It's just not Christmas without that. Um, hey, my P.O. box is always down below. If you wanna send me, if you have like an extra Christmas card that you don't know who to send to, um, don't waste it, send it to me. My P.O. box is always down below. I'd love to see the faces on the other side of the screen. Every year, some people send me Christmas cards and it's just, it's so fun, it's so fun. Another thing that I like to do every year is the Samaritan's Purse shoe boxes. My opinion on it has, I don't know, it's in limbo yet. So go ahead and watch these clips and if you have any more information, let me know down below, but let's not be argumentative or anything. Um, I truly would like to know if this is like a worthwhile organization. It feels good to me, but at the same time, I know sometimes we do misplace giving sometimes around Christmas time and I always like to be super careful where my money goes. So anyway, just watch these clips here. Band-Aids for the children. Why? You don't like to wear band-aids. Do you think they will like to? But we should buy little plates for them. No. Oh, do you think we can fit them in the box? Yeah. Well, do you think we can fit them in the box? Look at the shoe box. Do you think we can fit them in the shoe box? No. <laughs> Uh, the stuff from Walmart laid out here and I'm gonna put the boxes together I'm actually gonna get the kids to help me it might be a little bit of a circus if you are wanting to do like these Samaritan's Purse shoe boxes next year um, expect to spend like a chunk of money um, I did two girl boxes and two boy boxes because it's always better to do it in pairs a lot of things just come in pairs and then you can like split them up um, and so I did two to, to age two to four girls and two age two to four boys. And I had to say that Walmart, I was not impressed with all the selection that they had. I went to Five Below last year and then Dollar Tree and I think that was a better combination, honestly. But um, anyway, I did find everything that I was looking for. Um, every box has to have like a wow item and for the girls that's super easy, you just throw a doll in there. And for the boys, like one of the best wow items they suggest is like a soccer ball or a playground ball and then you have to include a pump you know, for when the ball gets deflated. Anyway, surprise, surprise, Walmart did not have any bike pumps at the location I was at. And do you hear them up there playing? Anyway, that's happy noises, by the way. Um, they did not have any bike pumps, so I had to end up improvising and, um, that's because these boys' wow items, I got them these tile blocks, which are 20 bucks a pop. Um, and so that kind of added up. But basically, there's some craft supplies, little notebooks, crayons, and this is for ages two to four again. This is just a really simple, 
crafting. Um, the girls got these dolls, which, yes, I'm going to have to take them out of the boxes to get them in the shoe boxes here. But they felt, like, nice and soft compared to a lot of the other ones that were there. But, yeah, they just didn't have a ton of doll selection. I think I should plan to go to an Amish store next year because they always have the best toys. And then this is a box of Play-Doh we're going to break apart. It has, like, 30-some cookie cutters and tools and things. And then also 10 Play-Dohs, so we'll break that up. And then um, two washcloths, boys, girls. And then we'll break up these toothbrushes. And I got them each a brush and boys band-aids and girls band-aids. So yeah, I really love doing this program every year, but my one concern or question is how do they make it like fair? I just feel like all these kids get like all these different things. Like one thing we could have included and I wanted to was like kids cups, but they didn't have anything that I thought was age appropriate. Everything was like for adults or for babies. So I didn't get them any tumblers. But then, okay, so what happens then when the kids get all the random stuff and a kid gets, like, this exciting bowl and plate? So does he sit there and eat out of that at mealtimes and nobody else has that? Like, I don't know. I'm just not... I'm starting to question a little bit the whole method here. But I know there's a lot of people that actually go and hand out the boxes, you know, personally. So I'm hoping that this is a good thing. I think sometimes when we give, it's sometimes misplaced giving. And so it's just something I've been thinking about. Just do your research before you give. Um, and like I said, if any of you have more information on these shoe boxes, I would love to hear. Um, it seems like a great thing. It's teaching my kids about giving. It's also like a tangible like Christmas gift for these kids. But at the same time, I'm wondering what happens like a week down the road after the excitement of opening the boxes up is done. Like how does that even look? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Just something I've been thinking about. So uh, I'm gonna get these boxes put together and I'm gonna make the kids help me. We also like to go into Lancaster, it's our nearby city, and just walk around in there. Um, look at the lights, it's so pretty. Yeah, it just gets me in the Christmas spirit so much. I don't know how it's gonna be this year with all the masks and everything, like can we actually feel like we are giving off the Christmas spirit? <laughs> um, I wish, yeah, somehow we could bottle that up for January, February, and March too, but it just feels like some people are more open in the month of December, and I just like to use that opportunity to have conversations with people, you know, even random strangers. I'm excited for this Christmas season. It, <laughs> one last story and then I'll stop blabbing. Josh, when I got married to him, he hated Christmas. He hated Christmas music. He was like the epitome of a Scrooge. Like he just thought it was overrated, consumeristic, and yeah, he thought it was like a girl's holiday or something. And when we had Ivani, our first kid, Ivani is our daughter, she's three, it's like a light bulb switched. He's like so into Christmas. He's like, he was playing Christmas music like November 1st, as soon as the radio was playing it. He's like, we were coming back from our Jamaica trip. I'm like, oh, now what do we have to look forward to? There's like no Jamaica trip in our future, you know? And who knows if we can ever travel in the near future. And he's like, well, there's Christmas. He was like all excited, it's so funny. Um, yeah, he's just all on board for Christmas. So I know there are a lot of you out there that have husbands that are not really into Christmas time. And I would say, don't give up hope. If you don't have kids yet, that might all change. Um, yeah, there just brings out the kid in them, I think. So I hope it came across there the way I wanted to. Um, feel free to drop a comment down below, a respectful comment. Let me know down below what one of your favorite holiday traditions are. Um, do you guys read Luke 2, um, the Bible story? Do you guys talk about the ending of the story, which is not at Christmas time, but actually at Easter time? How do you convey the true meaning of Christmas to your kids? I like tell Ivani about Santa Claus. I tell her who he is, um, like that it's a story, um, but I heard, who was it? I heard somebody's podcast. Now that I'm a mother, maybe, I think on her podcast she was saying how sometimes for little children especially, it's hard for them to realize what's make-believe and what's a true story. 
So if you do talk about the Christmas story, make sure that they know that that is true. Like that actually happened. Jesus did come to earth as a baby in a manger. Whereas like the Santa Clauses and all that stuff, that is just like a fun fairy tale, myth, magical type of thing. Um, it's not actually like, we don't want to get that confused with Christmas, the real story of Christmas, because that is the truth. Anyway, I've been rambling for so long. I'm sorry about this. I hope you enjoyed this little sit down part and the little vlog at the beginning. Um, it was so good to talk to you guys again. I feel like it's been so long. Um, check out Native down below if you have not taken advantage of their offer yet for their package, uh, plastic free packaging. Um, it's a really good deal, 25% off, available to like so many different countries. So definitely check that out, take advantage of it while it's still available. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next week for an awesome video. We're gonna be going and chopping down a Christmas tree, decorating it, doing some DIY Christmas decor. I'm gonna get the kids involved. Yeah, thank you guys so much for showing up. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, love you all. <laughs>